Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're here with our friend Doug. We're back at my buddy Dean's SoCal Classic Storage and we're about to shoot a car that I've seen out at the quarantine cruise. First of all, what year? The 67 Cougar GT mm -hmm. model. You know, we've had it for quite a while. My right. dad bought an 83, so it just sat in the garage for so many years. And right. in 2018, we pulled it out and came up with a plan. Basically, it came with a big block FE, a 390 block. But we actually went to a 504 cubic inch Ford FE, you know, with uh, Elderbrock Pro, Pro Port heads, dual 600 Hollies sitting on it, and uh, a look, nice little roller cam. It was about 750 horsepower on the dyno. There's actually more in it, but you know, the way we drive it and cruise it, that, it's good. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. You got, you got a reliable, enjoyable driving car, and it sounds like a friggin' beast. Now I see Willwood Master, is it, are you manual brakes on it? Yes, six piston in the front, four piston in the back. I love your wheel choice, by the way. Are these welds or is it another brand that looks American similar? Racing. It's American Racing. Yeah, Got they're it. VF480s that we had custom painted. Okay. You know, the, to the way we wanted. You know, mm -hmm. it was, normally comes out all chrome. We blackened it out in certain areas and left some of the chrome in other areas. So you've gone with kind of a drag, a more of a straight line setup for the car. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, and, and that's what was the intent. We're not, let's say, turning corners real fast. We're, yeah. We want to go and go straight pretty fast. Yeah. And that was good for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've kind of always had a thing for Cougars. I always thought they were you know, just neat cars. And I'm always yeah. surprised that we see Mustangs and Camaros and Chevelles and, you know, not knocking it, but it's fun. It's fun to see something that's a little different. It is know? a little different, you mm -hmm. know, and then not only that, when I do see Cougars, normally have a small block in them or a Windsor motor, which is right. fine, but I wanted to stick with the old FE motor, you, you know, big old big block, block there, and it's man. just yeah. kind of cool. Gosh, that's almost like a street slick you run, huh? Well, pretty close, yeah. The Mickey Thompson there's, Street R, yeah. There's a, a little bit of tread not in there. There's a whole <laughs> lot of tread there. I, I wouldn't want to see any water coming up. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be good. Aren't these lights sequential? Yeah, they are. When you turn left or right yeah. and put the turn signal yeah, yeah. on, yeah. It's, it does that. It's pretty cool. We made sure we had that. It's just kind of unique to this car. Now, how about exhaust? Because I'm assuming it's cutouts. Like, do you have a... a yeah. yeah, cause it's, I mean, when you just fired it up, dude, it's, it's, it's loud. Yeah. It's three inch, down to electric cutouts, down to Flowmaster, uh, Super 44s. Okay. But we went out two and a half inch off the back. So it tones it. it down a little bit when the, the electric cutouts aren't open. So it still comes all the way out here when you don't want it as brutal loud. I'll bet it's still loud, isn't it? It's still pretty loud, yeah. yeah. It, you, you could tell. Well, let's check out interior, man. We kept as much original as possible besides some of the gauges in there. You know, originally it was an automatic. We turned it into a manual, so. You see the stick shift in there. Mm -hmm. um, some of the things we did change, these came out of a 71 Cougar. Okay. Uh, so it had the high back, typically these are low back, little mm -hmm. bucket seats. Right. Uh, I went with the 71 Cougar, changed the framing in it so we can attach it to this car. And uh -huh. But what we kept in there, which I thought was really unique, was the Cougar emblem. Oh yeah. Which is man. pretty unique to the Cougars. They only had it in 71 and, and so on, but I wanted to have that in there. I mean, even the steering wheel, man, that's, yeah. that's an OG steering wheel. It is, it is, wow. it is. Yeah, I like it. I really wanted just to keep it simple. I wanted the old school look. Yeah. You know, a little oh, tack on her, a little couple of gauges. Yeah. And really Very drag style. Very yeah. much like a simple. Like a car you cruise on the streets and then you head out to the drag strip on a Friday or something and run your car and drive. Yeah. Home, you know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, dude, let's if there's nothing that I've left out, we'll get some cameras in here and we'll go do the fun part, which is go drive it a little bit. Sounds good to me. Awesome, let's do man. it. Cool. like the sound of a naturally aspirated big block. Man, it just feels great. It, it definitely feels old school. Like you yep. can tell it's not a, a full chassis, but, but, but your suspension is definitely, it's upgraded. Yeah, it's upgraded, it's but not it's not floaty and, no. you know. It's pretty stiff in the back. The front is a little bit soft because we use rollerized uh, open tracker suspension, but. Right. But for the most part, it's still a bucket of bolts. Yeah. Somebody goes, why so loud? You can't explain to them why it's cool. Yeah, I know. 
This sucker's definitely, this is a raw car, man. They're very raw. car gets down. like that big block power they're just it's yeah wow you're spinning tires aren't you yeah they're spinning he's digging Son but it's spinning too bitch One more pass, Paul, and then pull in for a pull away. Son of a bitch, I can't believe how much you're, like I feel it digging and pulling the whole time, but I can also hear it spinning. It's spinning back there, yeah, they are. That's why I get a kick out of it, seeing my parents driving it, and my dad get into it a little bit, my mom's just like swinging at him, knock it off, knock it off! <laughs> I'll bet she is. I mean, if you're not a hardcore hot rodder, that would scare the piss out of you, man. <laughs> right. Holy hell, man, there is nothing like a naturally aspirated big block, loud and thumping to get your heart pumping. Big thanks to you guys for always supporting what we do, and thanks for hanging and watching what we do. We'll see you in the next one, you guys. Later.